overview of the Union. Because the term had been used prior to the war to refer to the entire United States, a Union of States, using it to apply to the non-secessionist side carried a con connotation of legitimacy as the continuation of the pre-existing political entity. Also in, also in the public dialogue of the United States, new states are admitted to the Union. <laughs> and the President's annual address to the Congress and to the people is referred to as the State of the Union Address. During the American Civil War, those loyal to the federal government and opposed to secession living in the border states and confederate states were termed unionists. Confederate soldiers sometimes styled them homemade Yankees. Nearly 120,000 southern unionists served in the Union Army during the Civil War, and every southern state, except South Carolina, raised unionist regiments. Southern Unionists were extensively used as anti-guerrilla forces and as occupation troops in areas of the Confederacy occupied by the Union. Since the Civil War, the term has been a widely used synonym for the northern side of the conflict and has increasingly lost the more subtle historical connotations. It is usually used in contexts where United States might be confusing, federal, obscure, or Yankee, dated, or derogatory. Just a few links. Union General Ulysses S. Grant, Union Army, Union Army of the Potomac, Union Navy, Union Blockade, Union Cavalry. Thank you for watching.